Hi, Agnelaseo. This is Nares Kimchi. How are you? Um, so today I'm going to make something that is real comfort food, very easy to make, and something we eat very often. Like we eat this regularly. So this is made with rabanito, or called AKA radish. And in Korea, we usually make this with daikon, this big one. Um, but here it's much harder to find those. So. For the same taste and even more beautiful look, I usually use uh, radish at home. And look how pretty it is with the pink color. So let's see how to make this one. Okay, so ingredients are just nothing but rabanitos or daikon, whatever you can find is mine, and soaked rice. So you can see I already washed the rice a couple times and it's been soaking in cold water. And I'll be using almost the same amount of water I usually put for cooking rice. And the reason you want to put slightly less is uh, because rabanitos or daikon, they have a lot of water uh, already. You can use turnip for this as well. So you would just uh, use slightly less, but not too much. Otherwise, uh, it, you could end up with a very dry rice. So all I'm gonna do is just cut this to my liking. And everything needs to be bite-sized. So you can actually cut like this, like slices, or you can actually cut in half and go for more like a, this a half moon shape. Probably it's easier with the half moon shape for eating. And I'm using about 400 grams of rabanitos. And for rice, I used three cups, which will yield um, th uh, six servings. Making enough to share with friends. And it's so good, like, we really like this dish. Because why are you making this dish? I wish the meat. Okay, all right, calories, calories, I'll eat it. So I already put everything here. And you're not gonna mix with rice. You're just gonna put this on top of rice and water. Then it just goes to the rice cooker. And cook it like you normally would with regular rice. Then we just wait and I will make um, dipping sauce now. Okay, I'm going to make um, sauce now. And sauce is what's really important since rabanito or daikon and rice will both be very bland. So the mix will still be very bland. And in order to keep it really healthy, you wanna make sauce very delicious. So you want to eat this more often, of course. And so you can use the green part of this green onion. This is Mexican uh, green onion. And this part, you want all these very small. Probably just use a little more green part. So this bowl already has a little bit of minced garlic here. You can see I put about one teaspoon of this and then enough uh, green onions. I, I love green onions, so I always put a lot. Then let's say I put about one tablespoon of soy sauce. Actually for several different servings, let's put two. So that should be enough. Black pepper. You can also add some sliced hot peppers. 
I'm going to add one tablespoonful of sesame oil. So this is a lot of sesame oil, and you, you do want a lot of flavor from this oil. Then let's finish with um, some sesame seeds. For sesame seeds, I will crack just a little bit like this. So the reason you want to break the sesame seeds a little bit is because you get more flavor and this releases the oil a little better also. Just a little bit like this. You can make this sauce a day ahead, but I usually don't ever think about it night before. So I always make it while the rice is cooking. Then you can just let it sit and we're going to eat together. So the rice cooker says it's done. So wow, look, at, look how beautiful it is. So pretty. So then you just, that's, this is when you actually mix. I'm so glad I actually soaked the rice for about an hour. So it's extra soft, but not mushy. And I'm using Mexican rice because it's not as um, sticky as Korean rice. And so you just mix really well from the bottom of the rice cooker here. Then when you put this in a bowl, put Put the part from the bottom of the, the rice cooker so you actually mix quite a bit while plating also. And then finish with radish right here. Yeah, look how pretty it is. And if you want some eggs or meat, you could always put fried uh, cooked ground beef or ground pork or just one fried egg before you um, eat it or, or you could just eat it like this as a vegan dish and me I'm going to mix everything so the bottom part doesn't get um, really hard So everything's done now and let's see. So I already put the uh, dipping sauce or not dipping sauce, but the sauce. And you know, you, you, you could see a lot of um, sesame oil went in and that's the best part because that really flavors this. And I already put the one fried egg just for more meaty taste because I'm just that kind of a person. I guess a little bit of egg can go to bacon. And Ellie. They really appreciate this egg part. So you mix like this and you can always add more sauce as well, but let me just taste this part. I hope it's not too hot. So that my taste part will be with a little bit of radish little bit of egg, rice, and the sauce too. Mmm, so good. Mm. Mm. Taking a little bit of cooked radish. Eat. So good. It, it is really good for people who are not feeling very well because radish is really good for digestion and it like it's really good for people who are recovering from various illness and so I hope you guys make this sorry my mouth is still full so hope you enjoy the video and hope you make this at home if you have a rice cooker it's very easy to make this okay until next time bye